Hey gardeners, did you know that there's a way to supercharge your plants without using any chemicals? It's true. Welcome to our channel, where today we're going to reveal the secrets of how to make an electroculture antenna using simple steps. Electroculture antennas are an amazing tool that can help your plants grow faster and healthier by harnessing natural energy. This video will guide you through what electroculture is, the different types of antennas, and show you exactly how to make one at home. But before we dive in, if you're new here and love discovering exciting gardening hacks, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We've got plenty more tips and tricks to help you create the garden of your dreams. Stay tuned and let's get started on boosting your garden with electroculture. What is electroculture? Before we dive into making our own electroculture antenna, let's understand what electroculture is all about. Electroculture is a fascinating gardening technique that harnesses the power of electricity to enhance plant growth. Sounds intriguing, right? But how does it work? Well, the basic concept is quite simple yet effective. Electroculture involves the application of low levels of electricity to plants or soil, stimulating their growth and health. This electricity mimics the natural electrical signals that plants receive from the environment encouraging them to grow faster, stronger, and more resilient. Now you might be wondering, what are the benefits of electroculture for plants and gardening? The benefits are numerous. Firstly, it promotes faster germination and seedling growth, meaning you'll see your plants sprout and thrive in no time. Additionally, electroculture enhances nutrient uptake in plants, leading to healthier and more vibrant foliage. Plus, it can help plants become more resistant to pests and diseases, reducing the need for harmful pesticides. In summary, electroculture is like giving your plants a natural energy boost, resulting in lusher, greener, and more abundant gardens. Types of Electroculture Antennas Now that we have a good understanding of what electroculture is, let's take a look at the different types of antennas used in this innovative gardening technique. 1. Magnetic Antenna Electroculture The magnetic antenna electroculture is one of the most common types used by gardeners worldwide. This antenna utilizes the principles of magnetism to enhance plant growth. It consists of coils or wires wound around a core material, such as iron or ferret, creating a magnetic field. When placed near plants or buried in the soil, this magnetic field interacts with the plant's natural electrical signals stimulating growth and nutrient absorption. The magnetic antenna electroculture is known for its simplicity and effectiveness in improving plant health and productivity. 2. Fractal Electroculture Antenna The Fractal Electroculture Antenna is a more advanced and intricate design inspired by fractal geometry. This antenna is characterized by its complex self-similar patterns that repeat at different scales. It is designed to maximize the surface area exposed to electrical currents, thereby increasing its effectiveness in stimulating plant growth. The fractal electroculture antenna operates on the same principles as other electroculture antennas, but offers enhanced efficiency and performance. While it may require more expertise to construct, its potential benefits make it a popular choice among avid gardeners looking to optimize their plant growth. In summary, both the magnetic antenna electroculture and the fractal electroculture antenna are valuable tools for gardeners seeking to boost plant growth naturally. Each type offers unique advantages and can be tailored to suit different gardening needs and preferences. Materials needed. Now that we've learned about the types of electroculture antennas, let's gather all the materials and tools we'll need to make our own antenna at home. Here's a comprehensive list. Materials 1. Copper wire for constructing the antenna coils 2. PVC pipe or wooden dowel for the antenna base 3. Insulating tape or heat shrink tubing to secure the coils 4. Ferret core or iron rod for magnetic antennas, optional 5. Fractal antenna template or design guide, if making a fractal antenna 6. 
soldering iron and solder for connecting wires. 7. Electrical tape for insulation. 8. Wire cutters and pliers for cutting and shaping wires. 9. Sandpaper or wire brush for cleaning and preparing surfaces. 10. Poxy resin or glue for securing components. 11. Multimeter for testing conductivity and resistance. Optional. Tools. 1. Drill with bits for making holes in the antenna base. 2. Saw or pipe cutter for cutting PV. See pipe or wooden dowel. 3. Ruler or measuring tape for accurate measurements. 4. Marker or pencil for marking measurements and guidelines. 5. Workbench or sturdy surface for assembly. 6. Safety goggles and gloves for protection while working with tools and materials. Make sure to gather all these materials and tools before starting the construction process. Having everything prepared in advance will make the process smoother and more efficient. Step-by-step -step guide to making an electroculture antenna. Now that we have all our materials and tools ready, let's dive into the step-by-step -step process of making our electroculture antenna. Follow along closely and you'll have your antenna up and running in no time. Step one, preparing the materials. Gather all the materials listed earlier. Clean and prepare the surfaces of the components, such as the copper wire and PVC pipe using sandpaper or a wire brush. Cut the copper wire into the required lengths according to your antenna design. If using a magnetic core, ensure it is properly sized and prepared for assembly. Step two, constructing the base. If using a PVC pipe, cut it to the desired length for the antenna base using a saw or pipe cutter. Drill holes in the PVC pipe or wooden dowel at regular intervals to accommodate the antenna coils. Sand the edges of the holes to remove any rough edges and ensure a snug fit for the coils. Step three, assembling the antenna. Begin by winding the copper wire around the PVC pipe or wooden dowel according to your antenna design. Secure the wire coils in place using insulating tape or heat shrink tubing. If using a magnetic core, insert it into the center of the coils and secure it firmly. Use a soldering iron to connect the ends of the wire coils to form a continuous circuit. Insulate the soldered connections with electrical tape to prevent short circuits. Step four, installing the antenna in your garden. Choose a suitable location in your garden to install the antenna, preferably near your plants. Dig a shallow trench or hole to bury the base of the antenna securely in the soil. Ensure that the antenna is positioned upright and stable. Connect the antenna to a power source, if required, following the manufacturer's instructions. Test the conductivity and resistance of the antenna using a multimeter to ensure proper functioning. And there you have it. Your electroculture antenna is now ready to work its magic in your garden. Usage of electroculture antenna. Now that we've successfully made our electroculture antenna, let's talk about how to properly use it to get the best results for your plants. Follow these tips for optimal performance. One, proper usage. Place the electroculture antenna in close proximity to your plants, ideally within a few feet. Ensure that the antenna is securely installed in the soil or positioned near the base of your plants. Connect the antenna to a power source, if applicable, and adjust the settings according to your plant's needs. Monitor the growth and health of your plants regularly to gauge the effectiveness of the antenna. Two, tips for placement. Choose a location in your garden that receives ample sunlight and is easily accessible for maintenance. Avoid placing the antenna near metal objects or electrical appliances as this may interfere with its operation. Position the antenna strategically to cover a wide area of your garden and maximize its impact on plant growth. Three, maintenance. Inspect the antenna periodically to ensure that it remains securely installed and free from damage. Clean the antenna coils and base regularly to remove any dirt or debris 
that may accumulate over time. Check the electrical connections and wiring for signs of wear or corrosion and repair or replace as needed. Keep an eye on your plants for any signs of overstimulation or adverse effects and adjust the antenna settings accordingly. By following these guidelines for proper usage, placement, and maintenance, you can ensure that your electroculture antenna continues to enhance the growth and vitality of your garden for years to come. Final Thoughts And that wraps up our journey into the world of electroculture antennas. Let's recap what we've covered and why you should give it a try in your own garden. Recap of steps covered. We started by learning about the fascinating concept of electroculture and its benefits for plant growth. Then, we explored the different types of electroculture antennas, including magnetic and fractal designs. After that, we gathered all the materials and tools needed for constructing our own antenna. Next, we followed a step-by-step -step guide to assembling the antenna and installing it in our garden. Finally, we discussed how to properly use and maintain the antenna for optimal results. Benefits of using an electroculture antenna, faster germination, and seedling growth, enhanced nutrient uptake and healthier foliage, increased resistance to pests and diseases, environmentally friendly alternative to chemical fertilizers. I encourage each and every one of you to give electroculture antennas a try in your own gardens. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting out, the benefits of electroculture are undeniable. Experiment with different designs and placements to see what works best for your plants. And don't forget to share your experiences with us. If you found this video helpful and informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more exciting gardening tips and tutorials. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts and experiences with electroculture antennas. We love hearing from you. Together, Let's harness the power of electroculture to create thriving and vibrant gardens that will leave everyone green with envy. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.